Tonight's Canfield School Board meeting was the first since the release of 22 incidents showing how school officials, including Superintendent Alex Jordan, had misled Canfield police about threats in the schools. This board has evidenced behavior unbecoming of an elected official, but the most outrageous action this board has done was supporting a superintendent that was clearly repulsive. But Superintendent Jordan was not at the meeting because at the end, the board approved a separation agreement between Jordan and the board. Jordan is done on January 1st. The discussion was minimal. Is it going to cost us any money? Yes. How many years did he have left on his contract? Three and a half years. The vote to accept the separation agreement was 4-1, with Phil Bova the only no vote. After the vote, both Bova, who did not seek re-election and was done in a few weeks anyway, along with fellow board member Craig Olson, who had two years left, both resigned. Bova called his resignation symbolic. To put it simply, I'm frustrated, tired, and sad of what's been going on in these board meetings. They have become circuses. I am tired of the extreme negativity of a small group of individuals. Olson said he was resigning for personal reasons, that his vision and the vision of the current board majority no longer matched. The agreement between Jordan and the board requires he be paid through January of 2022, though the amount is reduced if he becomes employed. The total cost of separating with Alex Jordan, I was told, was between $190 and $250,000.